Dr. Makwili. One day, a yellow cabriolet arrived to Dr. McQueely's garage. Hello, car. What has happened to you? Oh, you want to float like a boat? Hmm, let me think. We need a transformation plan. We have a cabriolet that wants to float like a boat. Let's take the top of the car and the bottom of the boat. We'll make an amphibious car. Great plan! Let's start the transformation. First remove the body. Push the car aside. Handy has brought the bottom of the boat. Now remove the old motor and we can put the cabriolet engine in its place. The car engine that turns the wheels will now turn the axle and the propeller. This propeller will push behind the water that comes through the bottom of the boat. This is the way the amphibian increases speed. Let's proceed. This is the new suspension system. It will lift the wheels when the car is on the water. The wheels are removed from the cabriolet and fitted on the amphibian. One, two. Let's check. It works great. Let's continue. The engine is fitted and the drive shaft. Done! Now the interior. Finally, fit the body. The amphibian is finished. Let's test it. But firstly, according to marine safety rules, we must attach a life ring to the car. Thank you, Handy. Start the engine. Go! The amphibious vehicle drives perfectly on the normal road. Now it's time to go on the water. Here's the sea. Let's go. As always, 
Dr. McWheely has done a great job. The yellow cabriolet is happy. And Dr. McWheely is happy too. I wonder who will come to her garage next time. See you soon. Dr. McWheely This is a petrol station. Cars come here to fill the tanks with fuel. Let's see how they do it. They need to put a special gun into their tanks. The fuel comes through the holes and the gun into the tank. Oh! Something's wrong! The filling station doesn't work anymore. And the cars that need fuel keep coming. You need to call Dr. McQueely. Here she is. She oils parts of her robot. Here she is. She's oiling parts of her robot handy. Without oil, handy begins to creak. Oh, the petrol station is calling. Dr. McQueely, please help us out. The filling station doesn't work. I'm on my way, says Dr. McQueely. And we'll fix handy later. Dr. McQueely drove her yellow cabrio to the petrol station. There are lots of cars waiting for their fuel. Let's find out what has happened. <coughs> Dr. McQueely needs to inspect everything. Maybe the filling station has broken. What's inside? Remove the outer panel. Nothing is broken here, but the fuel doesn't come out. Maybe it's the fuel. Maybe it can't come to the station from the underground reservoir. Let's check it. Ground, there are huge tanks with fuel in them. Open the hatch and see what's there. Aha! I see. There's no more fuel. We need a petrol tanker to fill such a huge tank. Petrol tanker. Please bring us petrol to the petrol station. The petrol tanker arrives immediately. Now we can fill the tank with this hose. It's filling up.
done. Yep. The petrol tanker can go and fill other petrol stations now. Let's see if this station works now. Hooray! Return the panel into its place. The gas station works again. Thank you, Dr. McQueely. Dr. McQueely. This is Dr. McQueely's garage. A very dirty car has arrived. I wonder what has happened to it. Why hasn't it washed itself? The car said that before it was beautiful and shiny. It had travelled a lot in the rain and the snow and always washed itself afterwards. But one day the mud just wouldn't come off. Can you help Dr McQueely? Hmm, first we'll have to wash you. Come closer. Stop. Let's pour water all over you. Now we'll wash you with foam. Let's see if the mud stays on after that. Hmm, the dirt hasn't come off. So it's not mud. It's rust. Cars are made of metal and the metal rusts when it's constantly wet. We need to remove the rust. Let's take off the wheels. The hood and the doors. Then we'll clean and paint them separately. No need to paint the headlights and the radiator grill. They haven't rusted. Let's remove the rear light too. They just get in the way. Now we'll begin the repair. This is a sandblasting machine. It will remove the rust and old paint. The sand blaster produces a powerful jet of sand and air. They blast off the rust. This tank is filled with plain river sand. And this hose supplies the tank and the mixer with air. Air and sand are mixed and thrown out with a special pistol. It's time to turn on the machine. Look, the rust and the old paint just disappeared. Done. 
Now we can start painting. Let's choose a colour. Our car will be bright orange. Beautiful! Now let's reattach the removed parts. New wheel. The hood. The radiator grill, front lights and rear lights, and the doors. The car has turned out bright and shiny, like an orange. Little car, the repair is finished. You can go now. Thank you, Dr. McQueary. Until next time. Dr. McQueary. Dr. McQueary and Handy are dismantling an old car. They've kept all the useful parts and the rest can't be used. The old car will be taken to the scrapyard. Hello, Pilcher. We need your help. Handy, do you want to see the scrapyard? <laughs> of course he does. Totra, take the old car. This is the processing station. There are a lot of cars that don't work anymore. They are melted down to metal. Handy, here's our car. The huge crane lifts the old cars using an electromagnet and then puts them into the shredder. Inside, the old cars are compressed and the metal is used to make new parts. Now the train will lift the car from Dr. McCreary's garage. Oh, it doesn't work. Hmm, let's see why. Why isn't the magnet working? are the fuses. Do you see the red light? One of the fuses isn't working. Pull the lever.
Haha, the electromagnet is working again. And it's lifted up Handy. Oh no, we don't want Handy to be recycled. Put him down, Dr. McQueely. Good. It's time to send the purple car to the shredder. We'll find out how it works. Two round shafts grind the old car. A large grey magnet pulls up all the metal pieces. And then drops them into a hot container. In this container, the metal is melted and poured into molds. The metal cools down and falls out of the mould. It's called an ingot. There are lots of them here. New cars are made with them. It's interesting, isn't it? And now it's time to say goodbye. Until next time.